Hey everybody, it's Deborah Douglas again. I know I just showed you my backyard the other day, but the Muscovy ducks are here today. We feed them just some seed, and that's Guy. He's the he's the male, and then usually there's three. There's usually three ladies. I call them my ladies. They don't let us get real close, but I walk around pretty slow. Oh, look at the cardinal. Oh, thank you for visiting. Look at him, he's so pretty. Can't hardly see. Wow. Yep, that's a special, a special sign right there on Easter. Oh my gosh, I hope y'all can, there he goes. Oh, he's on my feeder. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Look at that. You know, I've had that feeder and the damn squirrels are shaking out all the seed. <laughs> And nobody's been eating on it, but he's out there. I wonder how close he'll let me get. Oh, so isn't that just awesome? Happy Easter, everybody. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how things are coming along with this <laughs> thing I designed with the Christmas lights. So this is these are the sugar snaps growing, and I got them growing up a vine. And then that, oh look, that one already has a bud. It's got a little bud. Let's see. I've never I've never grown these before, so but oh they're so they're looking pretty good. It's kind of windy today. And then I don't know what I'm really gonna put in there. I I dropped some seeds in there at, by accident. And uh but they're coming up. But I do have a little blue bonnet coming up in there and there over there is cantaloupes and then some more summer squash and then that is um what is that? Those are green beans. And then that one is cow peas, and this one is pole beans, which I think is a lot like green beans. And then this is some sugar snaps, and I don't know, uh, I think this looks like it's going to have, uh, it may be a cantaloupe. <laughs> you know, I just don't remember planting those together, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, then my irises bloomed over there. I got this from uh, Ed. Um, uh, Enchanted Forest when he came to the quail's luncheon. I've never done that. Y'all should uh, check the quail quails out. We meet once a month. Come have lunch at the city center. It's always fun. They bring in somebody to talk to us. Fun, fun, fun. And then over here, oh my gosh, look at this. Here are my, <gasps> these are called clamitas. And they're just beautiful. This is, I think, their third growing season. So they're just getting established. And man, so glad I thought I'd lost, I would have lost them in that freeze. But, you know, I think the freeze really helped a lot of things just it put them into shock. And now they're coming back with a vengeance. You know, it's that whole nature thing. Strong will survive, you know. And what? doesn't kill you makes you stronger right? you can attest to that <laughs> this is lavender it's not looking too good i don't know what to do with it i guess i'll harvest some of that it's it's you know it's going dead so i don't know if i'm supposed to cut it off and hang it and dry it or what but oh, it smells so good i wish i could smell it <laughs> these are all natives i didn't plant but a few of them these were i guess seeds i put Cut out, and then that's a um, goldenrod. Goldenrod, and I hope that those are all going to bloom. I don't know. It's just we're just waiting and see. But I do have some bulbs that I got a couple years ago from the Quail Valley Garden Club Caladiums. You know, we're starting to sell not only caladiums but a flowering bulb. And then there's some more of that lance leaf, which is all native. And I have a clematis over here, but I think it's coming back. I bet it is. I think this is it. Oh, it did. This is that other clematis. And I have two more clematis up in in the front yard. These are all the yellow, little yellow flowers and stuff. So this, I think, is really going to be blooming here before long. I'm so excited. Last year, some, it's, I had all milkweed. And I only have a few milkweeds that are coming back. So i got to get some more. I, I've ordered, I think, two from uh, Mark at... Morning Star, I think, is his company, his nursery out in Damon. 
And I got some of that aqu aquatic milkweed. I'm going to put it in there. So. Oh, anyway, the last thing I want to talk to you about is Quail Valley Garden Club plant sale. It's coming up. And it's going to be May 1st from 10 to 3. And um, we'll be at the Tea Garden over by the Country Club. Well, it's not the Country Club anymore, but it's the Golf Club. We all know where that is. And we're going to have a lot of things for sale. I, I sent out a video earlier. I hope y'all saw it. And we'll just uh, start looking at what we got and set it up. So I uh, kind of spaced out there. It's such a lovely day today. I'm just watching the ducks. I'll send y'all a better recording and tell you all about the sale. I need, I need to be able to focus. It's just so beautiful out here. I can't focus on what I should be telling y'all, you know, about the plant sale. There comes Guy. He wants us to put, he, they just want so much seed. I, you know, I think birds can eat like twice their weight in seeds, <laughs> but we can't give them that much. That's just, I know they get other food from other places. I mean, look at them. They do this little, little dance. <laughs> It's like one potato, two potato. Is that kind of thing? <laughs> Y'all remember playing that when you were kids? One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Hilarious. I think it's kind of cool. We can get these close to it. This morning, Guy was up on the, on the porch. Not sure that I want him up on the porch. <laughs> he poops on the porch. So that's, he's going to have to stay out in the yard. Our dogs have gotten tolerant. Tolerant of the ducks. They do not like the squirrels, so. This is more stuff. I think I just showed y'all this, though. This is cantaloupe and jalapeno peppers. This is um, zinnias, corn, and summer squash. The summer squash and the corn could be put in, so if anybody wants to maybe go ahead and get some, or we'll have them at the plant sale. May 1st, 10 to 3 at the Tea Garden, across the street from the city center. We're going to have a beautiful booklet that everybody that attends gets. It will have all our sponsors in it and uh, I think some discounts from the blue, um, the grill. And uh, there will be complimentary water and uh, lemonade, maybe iced tea from, this, from the grill. We'll have just all kind of things to do. We've got four so far uh, presenters. One, uh, Kathy Gilmore, is going to come and talk about fairy gardens. And uh, our own member, Sandy Kakowski, is going to show us how to take an old pot and make it look new. And then Kathy Saucier uh, is going to talk to us about... Um, composting at home and then the biggest uh, thing we have coming is Boone I don't know who Boone is but everybody knows him they all want to know where he is what he's got to say so they all want to know what he's got to say and um, I just noticed <laughs> my phone was all laid back so sorry <laughs> so he's gonna be there talking so you know this is not we got, this got uplifted. It's not our plant sale that we had for two years, which was wonderful. We had a great plant sale in, in front of uh, Roseanne's house, you know, out in her front yard. And that was a great time, too. But it, woo, we just uplifted this and moved it. And the city's going to have a little um, booth from, I think, from their um, the youth, uh, the mayor youth council or committee. Yeah. And... Um, have a tent and it's just gonna be awesome you know it's just gonna grow and grow this is my lake I sure wish we could get an aerator put in this lake but it needs to be dredged because I think some flooding if we get too much flooding back here it's gonna block I think it's blocked down there they got a big they say they've got a big thing what is that called a cul culvert that needs to be cleaned out otherwise the flooding's gonna come from the street not a lake and I don't know who to talk to about that. But anybody on the lake, y'all, we need to get together. We need to think about that because 
we uh, we want them to keep this lake clean and flowing. We don't want it backing up and then the water in the street has nowhere to go either. It's going to come through, make its own new little path right through our houses. <laughs> so, anyway, I got distracted. I need to get back on the plant sale. Have the plant sale May 3rd at the city center. Across the street from the city center and the tea garden. And um, we're going to have a fabulous time. So y'all need to come out and... Uh, Enjoy your day. It's a family friendly. Kids can come. We, you know, uh, gonna have a uh, some doing some gardening with the kids. So get out and enjoy this day. I mean, it is beautiful. It is the most beautiful day in a very long time. Not gonna be hot, I don't think. And the sun is coming out. So happy Easter, everybody. We'll see you soon, May first at least. <laughs> Peace and love. All is well and getting better.